Okay, in this video, we are going to look into building an audio switch. Now, sometimes you have to gate audio in your circuit design, like turning on and off an audio stream from a microphone using a microcontroller. And I've built a few audio switches using op amps, uh, analog gates like the 4066 or JFETs, but sometimes you don't have these parts in your bin. So you have to use whatever is available. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a very simple audio switch using one active device, and that's a transistor, a 2N3904, you can see here, which basically everybody has in their parts bin. And I'm using the forward bias diode of this transistor as the switch. So right now I have an audio signal, 1 kilohertz audio signal fed into the input of this uh, switch. And I can activate it, and now when I activate the switch, this LED will come on. And I have a little speaker hooked up to the output. So I'll turn on the audio switch. And you can hear the audio tone. And the switch is on, indicated by the LED. And I can turn it off. Turn it on again. We're off. And I can pulsate it. Under microcontroller control. And I can turn it off. And also have a pot here, that's part of the circuit, where I can adjust the level output of, of the audio uh, gate. So this is a very simple circuit, and we'll get into the schematic, we'll see how this works. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of my audio switch. And you can see it's pretty simple. It uses one active component, an NPN transistor, 2N3904. Now when we drive this point high, it'll turn on the audio switch. And when we drive it low to ground, we'll turn off the audio switch. So you could drive that from a GPIO pin of a microcontroller, or you could actually feed it just into a push-button switch if you don't want to have microcontroller control. Now the input, the audio input, is fed into here through a capacitor and through the pot. That's where we adjust our amplitude. Now when the switch is off and we, the signal comes in, it's going to reverse bias uh, the, the base emitter junction of this transistor and we'll have no audio getting out into the output. But now when we, when we apply 5 volts to the base of the transistor, the transistor will be forward biased. Now when it's forward biased, we could have a signal now flowing backwards through the, through the emitter, through the collector, and out to the output. So whenever we forward bias the base emitter junction, uh, the, the switch will be on. Now the input has to be less than 1 volt peak to peak, because when the switch is off, if we drive this point too high, we'll get a base emitter reverse voltage breakdown. We'll get bleed through to the output. So we have to make sure the, the input is less than 1 volt peak to peak. So this works similar to a, a switching diode, like a 1N4, 1N48, or 1N914. And they use that in RF applications as a switch. They forward bias a diode, and it lets RF through uh, in either direction. So we're doing the same thing with audio, and we're using a transistor. So when we forward bias the base emitter junction, it enables uh, the audio signal to go, th to go through the transistor and out to the output. Now when I turn on the audio switch, I can adjust the level output using this pot. So I can turn it up, or I can turn it down. That's part of the circuit. And I'll turn off the switch. Now with the switch off, the maximum AC signal that we can feed into the switch is 1 volt peak to peak. If we go any higher than 1 volt peak to peak audio signal, we'll get a reverse voltage breakdown of the base emitter junction and we'll get a bleed through. So I'll turn up the amplitude with the switch off. And you can hear it there. You hear it bleeding through. That's 2 volts peak to peak. I'll take it back down to 1. And it's gone. I'll go up to 3 volts peak to peak. You can see it bleeding through. That's two, and that's one. That's normal. So this is for low-level signals only, so we don't bleed through, and we get a reverse voltage breakdown of the base emitter junction of the transistor. Okay, I have my scope connected to the output of my audio switch, and I'm gating the switch on and off every 500 milliseconds, and it's controlled by the microcontroller, my Arduino Nano. So I have a little program running that's, that's switching on and off the gate. So you can see the 1000 hertz signal is being gated on and off and the edges on the on the switching is are sharp and clean okay now you know how this audio switch works it's pretty simple and you probably have all the parts available in your parts bin to build this circuit on your breadboard and play around with it and if you don't have a microcontroller you can use the push button switch to feed 5 volts to the base of the transistor 
and turn on the audio switch and gate some audio. Well, there's lots of ways to build an audio switch. There's a lot of ICs, a lot of chips out there available to, to build an audio switch. But I wanted to make this video to show you the simplest way that I know how to build an audio switch. And also doing more with less. Getting by with what you have available. That's a very good talent to have when you're doing circuit design.